Sisters, welcome back to our channel. I'm Michelle and I apologize in advance if I sound really awkward or have coughing fits because I'm fighting the flu right now. Um, it's just, life's been crazy in general. It's just been a little extra stressful the last couple of weeks and I think it's just finally catching up to me and you know, life telling you to take a break. But that goes on also, right? So, um, I'm going to try my best to get through this video, try to keep it a little short, but it's going to be just me today, a couple more things to review with you guys, kind of new stuff, um, not new new, but Launchfly.com recently had a, um, like a tiny restock of some stuff that's sold out, I'm going to guess that either they, you know, got some returns or maybe they found some lost in their warehouse somewhere and they're like all right so we're just gonna throw all of <laughs> these random items on at once and good luck to everyone um so i'm sure that there was like a different number of each item whether it was like a whole box full of them or just returns or like i said whatever it is they did restock some recently i haven't checked in a while i think the the drops were like sometime last week because i just got it in today um so they restocked like a bunch of random stuff. It was like strawberry shortcake, um, spider punk, the armor, uh, what else? I think there was even platinum Mickey, um, sequin snow white. It was like the most random array of like mostly their exclusives, right? So, hi. Hi. What's up? Were you recording? Yes. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Um, so, yeah, like I said, it was the most random assortment of whatever bags and exclusives that they could find. They just did a restock of them. I can't, I, pre I feel like there was like more, but I can't, I can't think of them. So if you're watching this, might still be worth popping on just to see if something hung around. Unfortunately, like if it's something that was like really popular, it's probably sold out. Um, but you never know sometimes. They they do kind of random restocks every now and then and I think it's it's that case is that they found some somewhere and they're like, we'll just throw it on the website and whoever sees it goes and grabs it. Because I think like there was a few that probably only had a handful because people freaked out and they sold that right away. Like I think the Lava U bag was one of them. And anyways, so I did get three items and they all came today. So I'm gonna just show you guys real quick what we grabbed. And like I said, I don't know if they were still available. They were available for quite a while afterwards when I did buy these. So maybe they're still there. It's been a little while, but anyways, I got one mini and two wallets. You guys know me, I don't tend to get wallets, but every now and then I get motivated to get one, I guess. I don't know what the term would be. Um, but anyways, so you guys can already kind of see what this one is. Here we have the armor from the Mandalorian. So I missed this the first time around. They released it, I want to say around that Star Wars celebration last year, right? So around like May in that area where they released like, they do the Star Wars celebration, they usually release like a ton of... <clears throat> Sorry guys, there's going to be random clips in this video because I'm going to be coughing and stuff. I'm going to try to clip them out so you guys don't hear me coughing on the video. Um, what I was saying, the Star Wars celebration happens I think at Disneyland, right? And then they usually release, Blatchlight, right? like in the last few years has released exclusives for the big Star Wars celebration. This was one of them. I think I grabbed Han and Carbonite. I think that's the one thing I grabbed from that one. I'm trying to remember which ones were released that last time. I think that was the only one I grabbed. I kind of passed on this because I wasn't sure how I felt about it yet. It was because at the time I had not seen the latest season of The Mandalorian yet. I watched it and I do like the character more now because she's she's got more screen time. Um, so after that, of course, she she didn't sell out quickly. I think like none of the Star Wars bag really sold out quickly in this last like Star Wars celebration release. Um, 
but you know of course by the time I did get around to watching was it season three it was they did finally sell out of this bag and of course I couldn't find it and I'm like well I don't really want to pay over retail you guys know me I don't want to pay over retail because I'm cheap but so I almost pulled the trigger on one that I found on Macari that was pretty close to retail it was basically it would have been like retail plus shipping kind of but anyways I, I held out and luckily I did because this ended up being one of the restocks I got really excited so I'm gonna show you guys really quick for any of my Mandalorian Star Wars fan sorry I'm gonna try to get this to focus all right so you've got her helmet there on top all applique the little horns why are you not focusing there you go all that all applique her eyes are cut out right there so you get a nice 3d effect of course the breastplate she's kind of this like suede material that you get in some bags right it's not like the, the plastic polyurethane but it's like the softer fabric on the gray part all the appliques are their usual of course this is like the shiny material got her belt there with some of the tools of course the oh my gosh why are you not focusing there we go you got this nice quilting on the shoulder again to look like her outfit of course the black that copper is the trim as well as well as the straps on the back Apparently there's a lot of pieces on the back. And of course, this is the way that's the back hit. I do know a lot of us are not fans of this type of strap, right? The material, because it has a lot of issues with cracking. So we'll see how it goes. But I'll show the inside. pretty simple. We've got her helmet as well as her tools making that crisscross pattern there. So simple but effective lining. And checking there is an open back pocket in the back as well. I don't think I mentioned but I used to always do this in my old videos and now I'm thinking about it I'm like I don't think I've done it right in like the more recent ones where I tell you guys I'm like you know it's the usual layout big main compartment you got the front pocket you get two side pockets on the bag and then as with most not all of the new bags you do get an inside pocket it's a little bit easier to organize um, rather than it just being like an empty big pocket for any of you new people watching some of the solutions that we found in terms of like keeping organized inside the bag is using like um, pencil cases, makeup cases to organize your stuff and then put them in there or um, backpack organizers are awesome. Um, there's custom ones on like Etsy and stuff. There's one that I, I like to use. She's called um, Love Luna Shop. Um, I have a discount code for her if you'd like. Our um, Box Lunch has been releasing a ton of them too. Um, they're cute. I think about like 20 bucks. So um, not custom or anything, but you know, they work. So anyone that likes any of those. But yeah, here's the first one. And for anyone that likes set, I think while well, the backpack got sold out, I think the wallet was still on there. <clears throat> All right, and then we've got two wallets. First one, we got the Moon Knight. So I had passed on the wallet the first time around, right? Like I grabbed the backpack. And you guys know me, I don't usually grab every like sets, especially if they're too similar. Um, but once I did get the backpack in and found, like just saw just how nice it is, um, I decided that since I, I saw the wallet available, so I'm like, you know what? I do I do want the matching wallet just because it is a nice sturdy material. So I'm gonna show you guys here up close. It's I don't know, I don't know fabric names, you guys. But it's you can see you can, you can kind of see what type of fabric it is. Sorry, there we go. It's this type of fabric that you get, and it's like it's like a nice sturdy fabric. I like that this is 
actual like metal and everything or plastic I guess but I just like the detailing on it and it does like except the material is like a sturdy material so I thought it'd be nice for to have as a wallet you know being thrown in and out of um the bag the wallets do go through quite a bit of wear and tear but yeah there's the bag you've got of course the awesome moon knight black inside the id cutout is a moon it's a little hard to see hold on there we go a light shining on it we can show you guys it's that crescent moon of course it's a card holder slot you've got one two three four card slots little zipper pocket for change and then the lining you can't really see too much because there's not much space but we've got like again the crescent chain and some hieroglyphics there hey baby Say hi to Natalie, she's in the background. I can't tell if I'm waving in the camera. You kind of are. I can see four of your fingers. <laughs> I'm gonna watch you. You're gonna watch. Mm -hmm. She just showered, so her hair is like all wet and stuff. So she doesn't want to be in the frame. I I kind of put myself together for this video to record. Thank goodness for like heatless curls. But yeah, I'm, I'm sure I look like a mess too. Um, but yeah. Here's the first one, and then the second wallet. So I was going back and forth about whether or not I wanted the backpack. So it's the Spider Punk bag that did get relisted as well. That one actually did sell out as far as I saw. It sold out fairly quickly, so meaning it probably wasn't. Either a lot of people wanted it or there wasn't that many in the restock. But they did have the wallet and I decided, I'm like, all right, since I'm not positive about how much I wanted the backpack, I got the wallet instead. And I've done that for a lot of bags where I'm like, I don't know how much I love. Like, I like it, but I don't know if I like love, love it. So I would get the wallet instead because it is a little bit cheaper. And then I still get like the print, you know, without committing to a whole mini backpack, which is more expensive, takes up more space, you know, all of my random <laughs> reasoning for it. Um, but backpack did end up selling out, but I decided I wanted to grab the wallet. So I'm gonna show you guys really quick. So you've got his crazy eyes on the front there and on the back you have his vest little buttons on it and then of course the spider-verse plaque as well so it does this one yes yeah, says spider-man across the spider-verse so specific to the movie that's really cute it is fun right that's why i was like i like it i just don't know if i like how i feel about the backpack necessarily but i do like the wallet so little ID cutout is a little spider there. Again, you can't see much of the lining just because there's not much space for it. Maybe you can see more of it behind the ID slot. Oh, there you go, okay. You can see it says like spider punk and stuff. A lot of like graffiti style patterning in the back. But yeah, so you have the ID slot, one, two, three, four card slot, and then the coin slot as well. Um, I've mentioned before, this seems to be like the wallet style now. I don't know if you guys noticed, but they don't do like the bigger wallets as much anymore. Like, you know, like the long, like full size wallet that they tend, that women tend to have. Um, but like they sell in like the women's size, right? So it it's like usually at this size where it's only a few card hold slots, um, card holders where they tend to be a little small too. It's like, they usually only fit like a couple cards. Which I'm like, I carry way too much crap to like usually use a card holder. Card holders I usually only use on vacations because that's when I usually only carry the essentials. On my day to day, I tend to carry, you know, everything in the kitchen sink kind of thing. <laughs> um, but there's been a few of the accordion style releases lately and I do like those. Those are cool because they're small, but because they fold out, they can hold a, you know, good amount of cards. <clears throat> but yeah. So some fun, just some fun finds from this uh, last lounge fly restock that I wanted to share with you guys. Um, this video has already been longer than I planned it to be because I am, I can feel it. My voice is starting to go, and I think I'm holding back a cough so bad. <laughs> all right, you guys, uh, do all the usual stuff: like, subscribe, and turn on the post notifications so you know if I want to post another video. Yes, don't forget to follow specifically on the Instagram stories because that's where I post like new releases. All right, you guys.
Thank you so much for watching and we will see y'all next time. Bye.